I'm Jay and this is John and we're going to show you how to unpack your brand new plug and play easy plug roof mount. So you'll start, it's easiest with a friend, but you'll start with the box. We know it's a big box but you just ordered a solar panel from us. Um, and you'll take your utility blade or a kitchen knife or a ballpoint pen and there will be two bands here uh, that you'll have to cut. One here and one there. And uh, you go around the whole edge, watching for fingers. At which point you can open it up and you'll see which side the solar panel is facing. Now, we picked an area where we've got a nice carpet so then we can just lay it down on the, on the rug there and it's not going to scratch your solar panel. Um, and it's just going to be a, a nice surface to work on. So what we'll do is you can see that the solar panel glass is actually facing this side of the box. So it's perfect for us to go ahead and lay it flat on that face. So we'll come down nice and slow and give us an area to work with. You'll have to take and loosen the pre-mounted feet on the panel just a little bit and actually just take the feet and rotate 180 degrees so now they're facing the outside and then re-tighten. So I'm going to go ahead in the circle around the whole panel and do that. Now that I've rotated all of the feet in the proper position, I'm ready to go ahead and remove the protective material that remains on the panel. Now that you've unpacked your easy plug unit, you'll notice a few things. If you ordered a lead unit, it'll come with the plug and play solar add-on converter unit, which takes the microinverter and converts it into a wall plug, so it can easily be plugged into your outside outlet. You'll also notice that if it's an add-on unit, it will come pre-attached with a length of green grounding cable. This is so you can ground your, your unit to your lead unit for a continuous grounding. You'll also notice that your microinverter has an open female port. It might have a weather proof cap on it if you just ordered one panel. If, it does, if you order two panels, you'll be able to daisy chain each unit consecutively into the next and then plug it into the wall via the main plug on the lead unit. So now that we've gone over how to set up your solar panel and pack it, we're ready to mount it on the roof. We'll go ahead and get a friend, we'll pick up the panel, and you can just hold it on its side and walk out to where you're gonna put it and stage it on the roof. In this case, I'm just gonna show you on the ground here what the next steps are once you're on a roof. The next thing you wanna do is look at the Z-foot. Underneath, you've noticed already that there's a layer of butyl tape. This butyl tape has a protective wrapper on the bottom. Go ahead and remove that. This butyl tape is there to protect from water damage caused by drilling this into the roof. Go ahead and set that. Once the layer is removed, just set it down on your metal or shingle roof, and now you're ready to drive the lags into your roof. Next, take a provided lag and set that in one of the holes on the Z-feet. Next, take a drill driver and drive it into your roof. Repeat that for all the holes on all the Z-feet. Now that we've installed your panel onto the roof, all you have to do is plug it in. Go ahead and reach underneath and take the extension cord. Take the extension cord and securely run it down your roof and plug it into the nearest dedicated outdoor outlet. Thanks for joining us and we really hope you enjoy our product.